Beat four five, get hit in the face on the way to New Orleans. I'm strapped with the cake. What's up, Life of FB? This is JoJo. I'm back with another video. Um, shit. Today is just a daily day in the life version of what I go through every day and what I do. So right now, I'm making my 4L hoodie. This is for like the day ones. I don't know if y'all can see that, but yeah. Then it got the skull on the back and shit. But so I'm gonna take y'all through the process of what I do. You know, you know what I'm saying? Show y'all what FD does, bro. So first, can't get y'all all I want, but you know what I'm saying? Let me go back, I'ma show y'all. Uh, Making me. With four L hoodies. So yeah, I'll be patient with that. So let's do it. Oh, uh, I used to have dreams of being a football player till I ran it up. Met a little bit named Love. All right, so after that, we're going to go through. And I don't know if y'all are not going to be able to see this, but this is what I go through and pick. So let me go ahead and set y'all up in the camera. So I'll get this tool. And then, damn, I sat on that, but let me cut this off. Let me cut that light on. Turn on my real light. So, you know, these are two. Yeah. So, you sit down, you get the scalpel, you get picked. Niggas your name for some pussy. Who said he died, so that boy got the bus. Why did you have to go play me when a nigga just wanted to? Why the fuck did you have to portray me? I ain't asking. We're back. So, this is what it looks like. You take. All of this, throw it away. I'm gonna pick that up later. I don't think I'm a dirty person or not. I got a bag over there now. But, ah, uh, forgot to turn my thing off. So, come over here to my lovely printing press. Turn that on. That's a 45 minute, 45 second timer, and then you wait till this heats up. Now we're gonna go back over to the computer. Get ready to print the words. Forever different. I always wanted, cause you know, mama say this, mama say that. Whoop de whoop. But it's like, but I don't even know what I'm talking about for real. I ain't gonna lie to you. But, Forever different. This is something I always wanted to do. Y'all know this. Y'all know this. If you know me, that's something that you do. But it's like, I was never in the right position for me to do it. So I was always, it was a lot of fear. It was like, I don't want to do it because I don't think I would be successful. When in reality, that's cow. That's big care because y'all see me now. We only a month in and no, no on all humble stuff. And my numbers is they're good. So it's not like I'm struggling or anything like that. Business is good. And it's like, I can't do nothing but thank y'all. Y'all the reason why business is booming. You feel me? I don't know what I'm saying. I can't complain. I can't complain at all. Because y'all the reason why I'm here. Y'all I mean, the reason why I'm in this position now. So I'm going to give y'all whatever y'all want. And it's winter collection. Hey, man. Hey, man. All I'm going to say is it's good. Y'all green. Because in our actuality, we got windbreakers coming. We got girls, y'all sweatsuits coming. We going, we going hard. And if I can fight for the right type of, you know what I'm saying, puffer jackets, we going hard on them too, bro. And then website, that whole coming. 
So it is crazy because y'all can't do nothing but be like, hey. hey. And bro, if you really know me or like really knew me in middle school, shit like that, you'll be like, damn, I'm kind of proud of him. But don't worry because y'all drip is going to be severe. No cap. And I appreciate everybody that really like fuck with me. Because I fuck with y'all. And I'm going to take y'all to the top with me. Because if you really, I'm, I keep saying this over and over again because it's true. If you really know me, bro, this is like a dream come true for real. I can't, like, I've been wanting to do this since I was little. Little. So we got to get these. Restock on them next week. I just, it's crazy, bro. Because I, I know my grandma. I know my uncle. I know everybody proud of me. Rest in heaven as well. And I'm only 17. Not too many people, they think I'm older than what I am because I got to, you know what I'm saying, I've been on some more mature stuff. But in reality, bro, I'm 17 years old. I'm young. I got, and for me to be on the, the path that I'm on now, can't, can't do nothing but thank God because not too many people my age can say they got their own brand or business or is doing something actually productive for themselves at the age that I'm at. Can't too many people say that, bro. And I'm glad I'm one of the ones that can actually be sit down with older people and they not treat me like I'm a youngin. Or or because they, they can look at me and be like, yeah, he look young, but I can learn something from him. So it's it's more so a business opportunity for them, if anything. Crazy, bro. But I'm just glad I'm where I'm at, where I'm at now. Because, bro, bro, and it's like I'm knowledgeable. I know, like, I can teach you something if you, like, ask. And I'm not that person to be like, if somebody ever need help, I'm not the person to be like, nah, bro, I'm not finna help you. Because, like, at the end of the day, I want to see everybody win. I don't want to, if, if you keen to me, I'm not going to let you sit there and be hungry and starve, bro. Even though, like, people and some people are ungrateful for that. I don't care about none of that. It's because, but like I was saying, you can't help nobody that don't want to be helped, bro. So, yeah, I'm going I'm to put you in the right position. I'm going to make sure you are in the right spot to eat. Like, bro, I can take you to the water. It's up to you if you drink it. And I'm going to take you to the water a hundred times. But a hundred times, I can't make you drink the water a hundred times. You know what I'm saying? That's all on you. You can't have nobody to throw in and be up. And it's a lot of people, and like, in my age especially, a lot of people my age, they're scared of us. Like, I ain't going to say they're scared, but it's a pride issue. I ain't going to lie. I was like that for a little minute too, but once... You really want to do something, then it's like, I don't want to. Because my biggest thing is I don't want to work for nobody, bro. And I really want to take this and be my own boss and be my own entrepreneur. I want to be able to say I got my own store. I want to be able to be like, I want to take care of my kids. I want to be able to, pa not take care of my, take care of my kids. But like, I want to pass this down to them so they ain't got to work for nobody for real. And they can just chill and make their money off of clothes. And look good too, like you know what I'm saying. My kids ain't gonna wear nothing but forever different. But yeah, um, they ain't, they ain't gonna be worried about nothing. I'm trying to make sure they don't want for nothing, bro. And I want that for everybody around me. So if you, if you in close proximity to me, bro, I'm gonna make sure you're in the right position at all times. But can't make you drink the water. Can't make you drink the water. I, I can't express this enough. And being successful comes with a lot of fake love. And it's like, I'm glad 
I'm at the right state that I'm at now because I can look at me like, yeah, okay. Y'all are weird, and I know what y'all trying to do. Y'all just trying to kick it with me for the benefit of saying, y'all my friend, and y'all trying to, like, you know what I'm saying? Be like, ah, we, whoop de whoop. Yeah, bro, she did. But I know who, who cool, I know who my partner is, and I know who not. And it's like, I've been like that since I was little. Like, I ain't never been the one to, like, have a whole bunch of people spending the night in my house or nothing like that. I'm a popular loner, like, yeah, it's cool. I'm getting a lot of attention from this club while I'm being successful, but in all honesty, I throw all of this away if I can just be cool with them. Like, yeah, give me the money, but I don't want nobody to know who I am. But it just so happens that I got, I'm not, I market myself. And it's like, I put myself on a platform for everybody to see. I put myself on the internet. It's a Billion motherfuckers on the internet every day, every second of the day, looking. I right now somebody just saved my picture, bro. Somebody's looking at my page somewhere, and that's crazy. But it be like that sometimes, I think. But you know, part two of this shit. All right, so this is the fun part. Let's take this, move this, small. Take that. I always keep these, bro. Know what size you rock it with. Take that over there. Our scissors. Uh, the press is ready to go. It's at an even. 320. Y'all can't see that. I don't even know why I'm doing it. Good. Thank God. So we're going to slide past all of this because my phone's going to die. And you know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah, know how that go. So this is, I'm going to come back at the end of the video with the final product. We're going to go put it on the press machine. Forget about all that. Thanks for joining another video of Life Forever Different.